Hi, my friend, Sam Via here. Today I want to share with you a nice, soft curl called a lazy curl because it's really lazy. It's almost relaxed. We're going to be working with our two-in-one Marcel iron and wand, and our product of choice is going to be our Redken Iron Shape 11. It is a thermal holding spray. We're going to work with a white tail comb for the contrast of color. Let's work in an area where you can see. And with this technique, we're going to encourage that you start from the bottom and work your way up. The size of section. The size of section is determined by the density or by the end result. I'm going to be taking about one inch square sections, staying in control and isolating what I don't need, and now working with our product to choice, our Iron Shape 11, a thermal holding spray, protects the hair from the heat. We're going to work with a one inch section. This technique is all about where the blade is placed, on one side then the opposite side. We're working vertically with the iron. So we're going to come in, placing the iron, we're going to give it one full wrap, keeping it flat. Allow the heat to work for you. Be careful not to create any creases, always wrapping and rolling the iron as you wrap. Now we're simply going to stop here, slide it out. Now look at where the spoon is. It's on this side. You're going to rotate the iron to the opposite side. Now the spoon is on the opposite side. Now come in where you left off and place the iron in and roll the iron and the blade as you wrap. Be careful not to pull down with gravity what you created. So notice I'm lifting up against gravity to ensure I allow that to cool in a cooled position. Now if you want a firmer curl, open up your blade and slide it in. So you get a little bit more of a wrap. Now I'm going to pull, look where the blade, the spoon is, pulling it out, turning the spoon so now it's on this side. Now I'm simply going to wrap, now watch me roll and wrap the iron. So I roll the iron and wrap the hair around the barrel. So the idea and the concept is that you want to get the hair moving in one direction, the opposite direction, and another direction, the opposite direction. So when you look at the curl, the curl moves forward, then it moves back, then it moves forward. Rather than the curl moving one direction down the barrel of the iron. When you, I do this, I love to pull on this and just stretch it. Just stretch it. Don't finger through it yet, just stretch that. Let's go to another section. In this particular case, we're taking about one inch sections. Making sure we're working with, with a thermal heat protector. In this case, Redkin's Iron Shape 11. Now even though I've got a rectangle section, just over direct slightly back and now place the barrel in vertically and wrap. Notice how I rolled the iron as I wrapped so as not to get that crease. Now I come through, I turn the iron the opposite way and wrap the opposite way. Slide it in if you want more of a firm type of curl. Now watch the, the spoon turn around the opposite direction. Crease where you left off and go the opposite direction. If those ends are too short, use your comb and wrap around the barrel. Remember, our combs are heat resistant. And remember to pull on that curl as you work through, just to add a little bit more softness. Let's show one more. Or I'm going to continue. To, let's show. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue to do the whole head in the same manner. Watch how I'll over direct the section back to me. 
rectangle section, coming in with the iron, wrapping one direction, and roll and close. Once we're here, look at where your blade is. So on the back side, watch me release the curl, rotate the blade over, open up your iron, place it in where you left off, and roll. Now open if you want it tighter. Release and pull. And you can just start to just see how it moves one direction, opposite direction, one direction, and an opposite direction. Continuing to work through the entire head. So you can see how we've gone through, we've completed the head. Now in this last section, I'm gonna recommend that we roll it away from the face, not towards the face. I worked on my bottom up. Notice as I came to the top, I started focusing on making sure that the blade was in the front, the spoon was in the front, coming away from the face. Here, I simply am gonna come through, take it and make sure I get it away from the face, but I still want it nice and lazy, so I'm just gonna to start to slide down and start to release just so it gives me the movement that I'm looking for in that front area. Now comes the important part. This is where we come through and we work with our hands. Yet, we're going to apply some product to our hands. We're going to apply Redken No Blow Dry Just Right. This is meant for medium type of texture of hair, as Ashlyn has. So what we want to do is, this is great to reinforce a blow dry. Let's say a client doesn't want to blow dry their hair in the morning. It's great for them just to apply this product and it reinforces their previous blow dry. I'm going to use it to finish and work with my hands. And I'm taking a, just a small amount. So just as you use a lotion for your skin, I'm going to treat this as a lotion for my finish. And I'm going to emulsify. When we emulsify, look how I go in between my fingers. Now all I'm going to do is just tilt her head forward and with these types of lazy things, I love throwing things forward. And now just run your hands from the underneath forward. And look how I'm just very, very gentle. Now I don't know about you, but if I can find five, ten different ways to work with a curling iron, I'm going to find five or ten different ways to work with it. Keep yourself motivated behind the chair in terms of the way that you're doing things. Want to toss your head back this time, Ashlyn? Thank you so much. And now, just let it happen naturally. This is about not every hair being in place. This is about you're just going in and just giving it some movement so you get just a nice texture and a very sense of lazy texture. Our last product of choice that we're going to finish with is going to be our Fashion Work 12. A very soft control hairspray by Redken. And I love using this for those clients, especially for these looks that are really soft, where we're not using hairspray. I don't want it so stiff or where you touch it, it feels like there's hairspray in it. Fashion Work 12 won't make the hair stiff yet. We're going to use it on our hands and just come in and caress the hair with our Fashion Work 12. This will give the client a little bit more control in terms of the wave and controlling and holding, but more importantly, it satisfies her, her needs in terms of her not having or feeling like she has hairspray in her hair. So there you have the finished look, my friends. It's all about finding various ways in which to work with your Marcel irons. Work with a two-in-one Marcel iron and wand and it's amazing in terms of the amount of creativity, the amount of expansion of techniques that you can work with. Thanks for watching. At Sam Villa, we will continue to bring the education.